What is good, drawbridge lovers? Here I am underneath, well, near the Boca Inlet Bridge here in Boca Raton, just north of Camino Real. And I decided to come to this bridge because one, I like old stuff. And two, I like weird stuff. <laughs> That's just me. Okay? So, this bridge was built in 1963. I don't know if you guys can hear me over the wind. Built in 1963. I hear a freight train. Or that's uh, or that's the uh, that's the horn for Camino Real uh, drawbridge going up. It might be that. They just rebuilt that bridge over there. Anyways, um, built in 1963. Because south of here, there was a wooden bridge that crossed over. And the road A1A connected through here. But to replace that bridge, they built this guy here. And what's funny about this one is that it's one of three drawbridges in the United States. Does anybody know what that is? If you guessed Hanover Skewed Bridge, you're absolutely correct. This bridge is skewed. It's like a trapezoid going up in the air. It basically is that. A trapezoid going up in the air. I'll give you guys some footage of it on top when I walk up there. But I'm on the underside, of course, where the counterweight is. That's the counterweight over here. All right, counterweight's right here. Your machinery is down here. Of course, your bridge tender's house, you know, with the, you know, kind of, you know, off to the side there. But they had to place the bridge tender's house to, to a degree and at an angle and far enough where the bridge would clear over the bridge tender's house. So, uh, Hanover skew bridges usually had very simple machinery. I'm guessing this one had been updated. As you can see, you can see the green motors, you can see the orange gears, and of course, that large orange gear uh, comes from the motor, and then it drives that shaft. The shaft is connected to the under gear, right up under the bridge, to make it go up. So, um, built in 1963, they skewed it because this canal, this inlet comes at an angle like this. So, a bridge that would have been dead on, kind of like Hillsboro or um, Hillsboro Inlet, Hillsboro Boulevard, that's what I meant to say. Um, it's fine. But if you have something that is at an angle, then you want to compensate for that. Because a bridge straight on, boats would have had to turn into going through the bridge to get to the other side through the intracoastal well they solved that idea by skewing the bridge and making it straight along so the boats can go straight through and just of course curve the bridge and then skew the bridge itself so let me give you guys a shot of what it looks like from I'm the giving top you guys an alternate angle as you can see the bridge is skewed as i said before here's a signal up here all right, drawbridge signal. Woo, very breezy up here. So they skewed the road. Busy day here in Boca Raton. This is the old bridge, skewed bridge, but I like it because it's weird and I like weird stuff. <laughs> Said that before. Of course, they have to have the big old barrier gate right there that locks down right over here course it gets a small one over here i wish a big boat came through here i've never seen this bridge raised in my life since i've been here since i've been in palm beach county i've never seen this bridge raise up i don't know what the hot times are i don't know when people come through and come up on this bridge i don't know all right Woo! it's windy 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 I wish one of those big mass boats would come through here, like, right now. You yeah, know? <laughs> I think that's Spanish River Boulevard down there. Yeah, Spanish River Boulevard down there. All right. So, as you can see, that is the counterweight. That's the counterweight right there. If you follow it, that's the bridge tender's house. As you can tell, when the bridge goes up, bridge basically goes right over the bridge tender's house all right so as you can see this is his or her walkway and then the bridge 
separates itself down over here. Follow you, uh, follow the line right here. Right where my feet are. Right over here. As you can see. So you can see right here, it's a big old trapezoid. Steel grating, as I always love. Listen to that beautiful sound. They recently painted this bridge. This bridge was like in a baby blue teal color, and they repainted it. I like it. One of the things on Florida dry bridges that are starting to disappear is the steel grating. They're making the bridges uh, with steel, but with concrete decks, and it takes away this the steel grating. I, I like the steel grating because of the hum. You know, it gives me an essence like I'm actually on a drawbridge. Of course, it gets slippery when wet, but hey, you control your own car. Hello. But even concrete, is everything's slippery when wet. Hello. But yeah. So basically, when this guy goes up, it's a big old trapezoid going right up into the air. So this is Boca Inlet facing south. This is Boca Inlet facing north. That is the Boca Inlet Bridge. Ain't nobody coming through here, <laughs> as you can see. Well, somebody went through the one over at, uh, whatchamacallit, Camino Real Bridge. So, yep, Hanover skewed drawbridge here at Boca Inlet. I'm out.